So a while ago I published a video uh, about how to wire up the SIMP EMS with the Tesla balance boards on each of the Tesla uh, Model S, Model X battery modules. But that video didn't go into a whole lot of detail, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a harness that looks something like this uh, for your Tesla battery modules. So the wiring diagram that's in the user manual for the SIMP EMS, which is this one right here, uh, it's kind of hard to make sense of because it only includes two of the module uh, plugs, so it, it's hard to figure out what to do if you have more than two modules. Uh, but it does show you on a basic level what the connections back to the SIMP EMS are and how to connect them. Uh, but I'll show you in greater detail with the actual connector, connectors themselves. Uh, so you need the 5 volt power out and then the ground. Both of those are of course power wires. Uh, and then the TX and RX, which are signal wires to create basically a complete loop uh, for communications with the modules. On each one of the module connectors, you'll only be using six out of the 12 connections that the original plug has. So you can just cut away all the excess wires, which is what I did. You can see these wires have all trimmed down because they're not needed. Uh, so the six that you do need is your five volt power in which is this red one right here, and then the corresponding 5-volt power out. Uh, same situation with your ground wire right here in green, and then the ground uh, out wire, also green. And then these blue and yellow wires, these are the communication wires. So the blue one is the communication in, and the yellow one is the communication out. And basically what you're doing with these connectors is with, with all of these uh, wires, both 5 volt ground and the communication wires, you're creating a long string um, from your first module all the way to your last module. Um, so for the 5 volts, it's just a string with each module being wired up to this same 5 volt uh, power source and same ground as well. And then for the uh, communications wires, this is the outbound signal from the SIMP EMS. And then at the very last module, these just go in a string, similar to how the, uh, the five volt of the ground works from one plug to the next and repeat to your last module. But from the last module, this yellow wire goes back to the SIMP EMS and that's the RX uh, communications wire, which goes in pin three of the Tesla BMS connector on the SIMP EMS. So a finished wiring harness for the SIMP EMS when you're using Tesla modules should look a little something like this. This would be what it would look like if you're only using three modules. As you can see from the last plug, uh, the last connector in this line, I only have the signal wire, the yellow signal wire, because since there's no more modules after this module, I don't need the power in the ground because those are just uh, supplying power and you don't need you don't need to supply power to a module that isn't there. So for this particular harness this red wire would be wired up to pin number two on the Tesla connector on the SIMP EMS. The green wire which is ground would be to pin number one. Uh, the blue wire which is the TX outbound communication signal would be pin number four and then this yellow wire which is the return signal from the very last module on uh, your string of modules would be the pin number three on the connector. One tip I have when you're making these uh, wiring harnesses is to separate the wires on each one of these connectors into two groups. One is the inbound connections and two is the outbound connections to the next module uh, in the string. So the inbound connections are using pins number 5, 3, and 2. As you can see, this is pin 5, pin 3, and pin 2. And the outbound connections are using pin number 9, number 8, and number 1. You see here, 9, 8, and 1. Um, on the wiring diagram, it says you can use pin 4 or 9. Uh, you really can use either pin, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just found it easier to keep it consistent across all the connectors. 
So when you're wiring them up, you do want to keep in mind how far apart your modules will be. Uh, from my use case, which with these three connectors, these are for the uh, rear battery box, which has three modules stacked vertically. So these plugs will be oriented something like that, real close to each other. Uh, when you're stacking modules like that, you really only need about three, three and a half to four inches of wire between the connectors. Um, but if your modules are in different locations, say you have some in the trunk uh, and some under the hood, you'll need a longer, obviously a longer connection. And to make the connections, I'm using these uh, butt connectors from Harbor Freight, 18 to 22 gauge. Uh, they're really cheap, only about $2 for a 10 pack or $1.50. Uh, and then this crimping tool, which also can strip wires uh, and cut wires. And this was about $7 at Harbor Freight also.